Leicester City are the champions of England. Somehow they pulled this off. And in today's video, I'm going to try to break down how they made this possible. And more importantly, how you can learn from them and add some of their mindsets to your own game so you can be a more successful player. Now, how on earth could Leicester go from narrowly escaping relegation last year? In fact, they only got promoted from the championship two years ago, almost got relegated last year. They were in last place for most of last year's season. How could they go on to win the Premier League this year? It's just unheard of. Even more outstanding, how could Claudio Ranieri, a manager who's never won a league title in his 28 years of management, how could he take this little minnow of a club, Leicester City, <laughs> and bring them the championship? How, how is this possible? So in today's video, I'm going to try to break that down for you. Obviously, these are just my own opinions, but I've outlined five main ideas. And before we get into those ideas, I should start by saying Leicester took advantage of an incredible gap in this year's Premier League. All of the biggest clubs played horribly based on their standards, how they should have performed. Man United, Man City, Chelsea, the previous champions and their demise, Arsenal, Liverpool, you probably couldn't put Liverpool in that bracket based on their form in the last couple of years, but especially those big four clubs, they were shocking. Arsenal played really well to start, but they faded off as they usually do, sadly. Chelsea, we all know what happened to Chelsea. Well, we don't know what happened, but we saw what happened to Chelsea. Man United, not playing up to their standards. Man City, not playing up to their standards. So there was a huge gap, a huge opportunity for someone new to come in, as we saw with the rise of teams like West Ham, teams like Tottenham, teams like Leicester City. So Leicester took advantage of this huge gap in the Premier League this season. The first reason Leicester was able to win the league was they took it one game at a time. At the beginning of the season, they were not concerned. They weren't even thinking about winning the Premier League. They weren't thinking about getting into Champions League spots. All they were thinking about was getting out of the relegation zone. And how did they do that? They did that by focusing on one game at a time, getting as many points as possible out of each game and getting those points as soon as possible, not waiting till the end of the season and saying, okay, how are we gonna get out of this relegation fight? No, they focused on, from the very beginning, getting as many points out of each game as they could. And they didn't worry about the game next week. They didn't worry about the easier fixtures coming up, getting points off Norwich and Bournemouth and these easier clubs. No, they focused on every single game. And that's an approach and a mentality you need to have as a player. Don't worry about that game in the future. Don't say, oh, this team we're playing today is easy. I'm more focused on this big game next week. No, every game needs to have your full focus. And if you can focus on every game, just concentrate on winning every single game, playing your best in that game, give all your focus to that game, you're gonna perform better, you're going to do better. Also have the mindset of winning every single game and trying to win the game from the first minute and not waiting until the 90th minute or the 80th minute, okay, now we have to press, now we have to try to win the game. No, you need to have the mentality, we're here to win every single game and we're trying to win every single game from the very first minute. So the first reason Leicester was able to win the league is they took it one game at a time. All that mattered was that game in front of them. And like I said, they weren't focused on winning the Premier League. They just focused on one game at a time. And suddenly, they were out of relegation. Suddenly, they were at the top of the Premier League just because they picked up so many points. And even when they were at the top, Ranieri was very humble. He said, we're just focused on getting out of relegation, getting our 40 points, getting safe. And suddenly, they were in a chance to win the league. And he said, now, now we can focus on winning every single game and we will win the league. So number one rule to success was take it one game at a time. <coughs> the second reason Leicester City won the league this year is because they were the best team. They may have not had the best players, they definitely didn't have the most expensive players, but they were the best team and football is a team sport. 
Everyone was working together. Everyone was working for the team. They were working for that badge on the front, not the name on the back. So how often have we seen these superstars, these Galacticos get beaten by these underdogs, these teams that stick together and work together, not only in football, but in all sports. Okay, and Leicester figured this out. They were the best team in the Premier League. Leicester's team roster cost 52.8 million pounds. They were the fourth least expensive. The only, the only other clubs who had less expensive rosters than Leicester were the three clubs that got promoted to the Premier League this year. The most expensive was Man City, 411 million pounds, seven times as much. But as you can see, money doesn't necessarily win championships. Teams win championships. So I want you to take that idea. I want you to think about that. Okay, instead of always playing for yourself, play for your team. Play for the guys around you. Stick together. Work for each other. Cover him because he's going to cover you. Okay, Leicester were the best team in the Premier League. And if you want to be a better player, think about being a better team player. Motivate your teammates. Bring them up when they're down. Stick together when times are tough. Football is a team sport, and Leicester figured that out. The third reason Leicester won the league was obviously their style of play. But let's just analyze it in a little more detail. So obviously I should have been using the blue... Leicester boys, but I only have about eight of them over here. I've lost a bunch of them. So we got a full 11 here. But Leicester were playing in a 4 4 2 formation, which is something we don't really see these days. Usually everyone's playing a 4 2 3 1 or 4 3 3 or even a 4 1 4 1 is pretty popular these days. But Leicester play in the typical or the traditional 4 4 2. So why did they use this system and why did it work so well for them? Well, number one, it was great for their defending. They always got, whenever they could, they got 11 men behind the ball. Four, two banks of four, four defenders, four midfielders, and the two strikers. Everyone defended as a team. And their number one priority was a solid defense. They were happy to let the other team have the ball. In fact, they only had on average 39% of possession and when they played the bigger teams it was even lower, sometimes as low as 25% of possession, but they were still beating the opposition and we'll get into that in more detail. But they would always defend, stay very compact and move together. As the ball would move, the whole team moves. They would get 11 men behind the ball and they would just focus on keeping very compact, not letting the opposition play. Now Leicester conceded 34 goals and 54% of those goals were conceded from outside of the box, which is an incredible statistic. Okay, on the other side of things, Leicester scored 96% of their goals inside of the box. And if you look at most teams, they score the majority of their goals inside the box. Leicester conceded, all the goals they conceded, I think a lot were from the penalty spot, but 54% were from outside of the box. So they basically said, if you're going to score on us, you're going to have to score a 30-yard wonder strike because we are not letting you inside of our box. And that was the mentality they had. Okay, They defended really hard. They were very compact and they owned their box. They pushed players out wide. As I said, they moved together as a unit. They made them go out wide. And if the ball was whipped in wide, they were happy to deal with crosses. Okay, so they got everyone behind the ball. They forced the opposition to stay in front of them. And this is why they conceded so few goals and why most of the goals that they did concede were from outside of the box. Now on the other side of things, as I said, the goals that they scored, 96% of the goals they scored were inside the opponent's box. Only 4% of the goals they scored were from outside of the box. That's an incredible statistic considering 54% of the goals they conceded were from outside of the box. So how are they scoring these goals? Counter-attack, okay? As I said, they were happy to defend. Leicester had on average 31%
possession. That's ridiculous. Especially in this era of Barcelona, Tiki Taka, possession, football, Pep Guardiola, transforming the way the game is played. It was all about possession. The more possession you have, the more likely you are to win. Leicester did not care about possession. Yes, when they had the ball, they tried to take care of it, but they were very direct with their possession. They played very much a counter-attacking style of football. So they would try to keep the opposition in front of them, but as soon as they won position, they would try to break immediately, play very direct. They had the lowest pass success rate. Only two other teams attempted more long balls than them. They had the lowest pass success rate in the Premier League. That means most of the passes that they were playing, it's not that they were bad at passing, it means most of the passes that they were playing were very direct, very aggressive balls. Okay, so they would sit, they would just sit and let the other team move the ball. And when the opportunity came, they won possession, they would counterattack and everyone, they would get forward. They would get Vardy forward, Okazaki forward, they would get Mars forward, they would get uh, Albright forward, and they would be getting in the box. Getting in the box, okay? Especially Albright gets this ball, this guy loves to whip crosses in here. But 90 Sorry, am I reading that wrong? Yeah, 96% of the goals they scored were in the box. Okay, so they would just sit. They were happy to give possession as long as they kept their team in front of the ball. They can't score on us if we got 11 men in front of the ball. They would let the team move the ball. As soon as they won the ball, they would break and they would play very aggressive balls. As I said, only two teams played more attempted long balls than Leicester and they had the lowest pass success rate, which means they were playing very aggressive balls. They were trying to go forward as quickly as possible. So what can you learn from this? What can you add to your game? Well, number one, put a high priority on defending. The other team cannot beat you if they cannot score, okay? They were the third best defensive team in the league. They only conceded 34 goals. I think Man United only conceded 31 goals, which was the best in the league. So defensively, they were extremely strong and they put a very high priority on defending. The whole team defense, not just the defenders, not just, hey, you guys are defenders, good luck, you go and defend. No, the whole team defends. So you defend for your team. You guys work together. We stay in front of the ball, keep as many men in front of the ball as we can. As the ball moves, we move. And then on the attacking side of things, when we get possession, we want to go forward as quickly as possible. We want to get numbers forward as quickly as possible. And we want to put the ball in the most dangerous areas, which is inside of the box. We want to take shots inside of the box because these are higher chance opportunities rather than shooting from out here. Now, I'm not saying they didn't shoot from distance. Obviously, we all know Vardy's wonder goal from distance. But... The majority of their goals came from in the box. That's because they're counterattacking and they're getting four on threes, three on twos, two on ones, one on ones. They're getting high chance opportunities, high percentage opportunities inside the box. So that's one of the reasons I think Leicester were so successful was their unique style of play. They were very happy to give possession to the other team. They wanted the other team to have possession. They wanted the other team to get frustrated when they couldn't get through their defense. And soon as they won possession, they played very direct, moving forward, getting numbers forward as quickly as possible. The fourth reason Leicester won the league is every individual on this team was playing above their ability, above their expectations. And I think we could say each one of these players on the field probably had the best season of their life. So in this little segment, I'm just giving respect to these incredible players. Kasper Schmeichel in net played amazing. He's come a long way in the last couple of years, obviously playing in the shadow of his father. They say you'll never be good enough. He, he's won his first Premier League title at age 29. Peter Schmeichel won his first Premier League title at age 29. So Casper still got some time to catch up to his dad, although that is a big ask. Christian Fuchs coming from Germany, playing his first league in the Premier League. What a way to start your first league. Danny Simpson, the other fullback, 
played incredible this season. Both the center backs, Robert Huth, Wes Morgan, they said they're too old, they're too slow, they're over the hill. These guys played incredible. Obviously, Danny Drinkwater got his first cap for England based on his performances this year. We all know about N'Golo Conte. Alex Ferguson said he was probably the buy of the season. They bought him for, I think it was $9 million, which is nothing. I bet you he's going to sell for probably $25, $30 million. I don't really know market values of players, but I could definitely see him going for something like that. He's played amazing this year. Obviously, we all know Riyad Mahrez, player of the year, signed for 400,000 pounds. Now he'll probably go about 30 million, 40 million even. Uh, Mark Albrighton, this guy left Aston Villa to join Leicester City this year. Good move, smart move by his agent. I think he's pretty happy with his choice, but he's had one of his best seasons in a long time. And obviously up top, Jamie Vardy, we all know about him. How many goals he scored? 22 goals, I think, this year. 11 consecutive games beating Ruud van Nistelrooy's record, beating the record at Manchester United. Quite an incredible feat. Okazaki, one of my favorite players, one of the, one I think the most underrated players in the league, one of the most hardest working players in the league definitely a great role model for any player who thinks they're too small this guy is a great player to watch so all these players are just playing out of their skin playing above their level and obviously it was probably the atmosphere of the team the ride the energy in the training camp the energy in the team at these games that allowed all these guys to believe that they could do more than they've ever done but if you've ever had someone tell you you're not good enough, these guys are examples that do not listen to other people. Whatever you do, listen to yourself, listen to your own self-belief. If you think you can be good enough, you can be good enough. Every season can be the best season of your life if you believe it's possible. So did these guys believe that they were as good as Manchester City players before the season? A team that cost seven times as much? Possibly not, but they started to build that confidence and they started to believe in each other. And together we see how the value of a team is much more than the value of individuals. The fifth reason Leicester won the Premier League, in my opinion, and something I really loved watching them this year, is they played without fear. They were not scared of anyone. They didn't give respect. To the big clubs. They went to Man United, they went to Man City, they went to Chelsea and they beat them. They were not afraid. They just focused on themselves. They knew if we stick together, we stick to our game plan, we can knock them off. And they were excited about the possibility of proving everyone wrong. They were excited about beating the big teams. They were excited about showing everyone that we can actually do this and that's a mentality that I want you to have as a player you cannot play afraid you'll never play your best when you're playing scared so when you're going onto the field don't be afraid of losing don't be afraid of humiliating yourself or not playing well don't be afraid of making mistakes be excited about the possibility of winning be excited about proving everyone wrong. Be excited about playing well. Be excited about scoring goals. Be excited about winning your individual battles. Whatever it is, find reasons to be excited rather than doing what most players do, which is playing scared or finding reasons to be scared. I'm gonna make mistakes, we could potentially lose, I could embarrass myself, my teammates could yell at me. Okay, you can find a million reasons why you should be afraid. I just want you to find a few reasons why you should be excited. Don't play with fear. Don't give respect to other players. You can win every game. Don't give respect to other teams. You can knock off the big teams. If you go out there, play with confidence, stick to what got you there in the first place, stay together with your teammates, and do what Lester did. Play without fear. Prove the world wrong. Once again, these are just my opinions, but I hope you found some value in this video. Please, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share this video with your friends and please comment below. What do you think? Why did Leicester win the league? How did they manage to accomplish this incredible, this incredible 
feat that probably will never be accomplished again in the world of football, maybe even the world of sports. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys real soon.